Hey YouTube, what is up? It's Dare here. I'm showing you how to update your Freedom Pop phone, the Samsung Galaxy Epic 4G Touch, onto Android 4.1 Jelly Bean, and showing you how to update this via the Samsung software update. I'll be providing you the links on how to download it and much more. Let's get started. So as you can see here, I have the Samsung Galaxy S2 Epic 4G Touch uh, update on the Samsung website. I'll be providing you the link down below on how to update your device. So the first thing that it lets you know on the website is to let you know what version you will be getting. So you'll be getting the latest Android Jelly Bean. One of the latest is Android 4.1.2 Jelly Bean, which gives you great enhancements and a new UI from the previous Android 4.0. Uh, software and TouchWiz and the, if you didn't have the 4.0, the 2.3.6 Android Gingerbread software as you can see here. I have Android 4.0 on my device. You can check it by pressing your menu button right here, clicking your settings, scrolling down to the bottom and click about phone and as you can see here I have an Android 4.0 and we're going to update this to Jelly Bean. So the, things that you need to update is to have a computer with internet access. It could be a Mac or a Windows computer. Preferably a Windows would be easier, but any way could do. And you would also need your phone's battery to be fully charged. I would recommend it to be fully charged. It lets you know as well. And as a micro USB cable connected to your device in order to update. And it needs to be USB 2.0, but most computers already have the USB 2.0. And what other things you need is to download this little download button here. As you can see here, it provides you a download link. You want to click this and it will download the latest software as well to get you started. Okay, so the first thing you do after you get it downloaded is click the Sprint application here for Samsung to update your Galaxy S2 and let the process run. As you can see here, my computer is waiting for the Galaxy S2 to get the software ready for the installation update. And as soon as you get that, you get another message that will appear here. It tells you to follow the certain steps. So just click Next, as you can see here. And from there, you want to agree to all your guides you and let it uh, finish downloading its installation requirements. Okay, so now once that finishes, what it will do is create another icon onto your desktop for the Samsung Galaxy S2 update, right next to the Sprint one that was provided. You want to double click this, and once it does that, it's going to provide you uh, another authentication source to approve the update. And once that happens, it will give you a, a notification. Okay, as you can see here, I got a message uh, saying that I need access control. Click yes, it is safe. It's not a virus, and as you can see here, my computer lets me know I want to agree to the terms and conditions, so I'm going to accept the licensing agreements. Click Next, and from there it's going to tell you your phone may incur data loss of backup all your phone, so I do recommend a backup. You there's many free backup options on the Google Play Store, so just click Next. And right now it says remove the battery from the phone and put the phone battery back in, so let's simply do that right here. Let me get the phone battery back and disconnect the micro USB cable and take out the battery of the phone and simply place it back in and your cover back on as well and click next and it says right now to update the phone please put your phone simultaneously and hold the following keys the volume down key and the power key so let's do that right now let's put this back on for you Okay, and I'll show you the following steps. Okay, so I need to, the first thing you need to do is to update your phone and hold the power key on the volume down key right here. So, so let's hold that simultaneously until the icon appears. Okay, and as you get, as you can see, you get a message that says the custom OS can cause critical problems unless you're updating 
your phone. So that's what we're at the home screen right now. So let's click next. It says when the download option appears, please press the home screen. Okay. So once you finish doing the volume uh, down key and the vol power key on the side, it gives you a warning to up to continue. So let's press the power key up key. And now it says the downloading key has options. So let's go on the next step and see what it gives you. Okay, now it says we need to plug the phone to the computer using a micro USB cord. So I have my micro USB cord here. Now let's simply plug that into the computer here and see if anything new pops up. Okay, as you can see it says downloading, do not turn off target. Computer will be connected right now and it's, you have to get a, a message saying uh, connect your cord to the USB. Once you do that you'll get a message here saying that it's connected to a certain comp. So follow directions and now it says please press the start download button to upgrade your software. And now it says updating, do not disconnect. And now the phone is updating. You then will be getting a message saying that you completed the flash programming, the 4.1.2 Jelly Bean, and your phone will restart as you can see here. So let's see what happens next. Now you get a message saying Android is updating. And uh, once this is done, you'll be done and successfully updated your phone to Android 4.1.2 Jelly Bean. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Look next for my next video on about how to set up your phone on Freedom Pops Network.